Hi YouTube, um, there's a question that I got asked which was which is better for me water cooling or air cooling it all depends what you're doing but if you don't want to get too technical and not too comfortable installing water tubes and pipes and stuff I would stick with air cooling and the best option is one I recommend which is if you get a fan set as you can see here it's a Noctua fan kit you can get a wide variety of products from them uh, very very silent fans they are um, you also can reduce the fan speeds to very low and they'll still do a perfect job yeah, if you are overclocking you can increase the fan speeds and yet you still have a fairly quiet rig and if you can see here I've, I've got the Core i7 2600K um, I've been overclocking um, you've got my RAM here this is a crucial ballistics tracer DDR3 uh, you can see I've got a push and pull configuration um, and you've got a um, 140 millimeter fan right at the back there drawing air out and also when I do overclock I turn on the two fans at the top of my case which is another two not sure fans and uh, you can see I only got one on because the RAM does heat up fairly a bit um, but you can put these on full blast if you have which I recommend you get yourself a fan controller so you can see I'm running my, at my speeds at 40% uh, and I've got the last two fans turned off so at 40% you get a fairly quiet rig uh, to be honest the only thing I could hear from my rig is when I'm gaming I could hear my graphics card and that's about it um, I also have a fan here which is on low speed just to cool the hard drives down um, like I said not too extreme so you can keep it nice and simple and still get all the job you want from water cooling um, if you are an extreme overclocker and you want the max overclockability out of a processor yes then water cooling would be an option but for now I'd say a setup like this is more than well recommended um, thanks for watching please subscribe see you soon